road this way takes us to the Frank Church Wilderness. Exciting. This is the last uh, place to, to get on back to society. Uh, hitch a ride back if you, if you want out. You boys want out? Please, take me. <laughs> We're fucking sending it. Yeah, about mile 300 for the WWT, mile 2, 270, 260 for the ICT. Feeling good. Spirits are high. Spirits are high. Yeah. It's light packs. Light, light packs. packs. Yeah, only three days of Pistol Crick. Pistol Crick. <laughs> you feel good. Yeah. Well. Huh? Fibonacci feeling strong? Yeah. Where, where are we going? What were you saying? Up river. We're going up river. <laughs> Gotta go up river, man. <laughs> Gotta go up river. <laughs> Frank Church, River of No Return. Wilderness Corridor. Let's go. The largest wilderness area in the continental United States. Fuck the log bridge. We're forwarding this stream. Set, set the poles down, be careful. Don't Don't get washed away there. now. What are you doing with the hip belt on? <laughs> Real dangerous. <laughs> Kids, don't do this at home. Yo! Crystal Creek Ranch. I'm gonna grab some resupply and then keep on going.
day marks the day that we head off the Snake River to go up river. <laughs> Six days to Campbell's Ferry through the Frank Church. Going to follow Marble Creek. Supposedly the trail's really bad, but there's been some trail maintenance as of late. We're gonna find out. So this is the Marble Creek path. So far so good, we're only about one and a half miles in. It looks good, nice. It's gonna take about 20 miles to increase 2,000 feet in elevation. So if the trail conditions hold up, it shouldn't be that brutal. So this is the trail, we're going up river, so we're just going to stay in the river because it seems to be the easiest way of transportation. Damn, these are, these are wolf tracks here, no doubt about it. Look at that. Big animals. Wolf tracks, huh? Yeah. Oh wow, look at this one. That's a big dog. Oh, hey. Frog. Let's take a look at the size of those trees. My God. I said, God damn! Been bushwhacking for a couple miles now. Found another trail. A little bit higher. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. River crossing 22. Another six miles to camp. Look at that masonry. Wow. This is insane. Where are you at, hikers? Look at what Clay Jacobson has built for us. He's built a a paradise in the middle of the wilderness. Yeah, there's some bushwhacking back there, but look at this. This is gonna last a hundred years. Beaver swamps. Thank God they reintroduced these pests. Look at this healthy ecosystem. Um. My sleeve really got torn up. I was climbing over a rock and it decided to fall into the river. That one hurt. How many times did we cross that river? We crossed the river 30... Three? No, well, 34 tomorrow. 34 times. Um, Marble Creek is a doozy. But uh, spirits will be high. Just have a fire going. Really tired today. This looks like it's the trail now. We're just pretty much bushwhacking up the side of a mountain. 
ICT does not forgive, does not forget. Going up river. We got up top of this ridge. We are in the Frank Church now. No Nobody out here. No roads, no cell phone towers, no power lines, no cabins. Just, it's just us. Up here on this ridge line, in the middle of the Frank Church, river of no return wilderness, and just massive amounts of land out here, massive. Insane. We got a little more than half this ridge line. We're at 8150. Oh man, we got a lot of a lot of ways to go on this ridge. But I think we're at the highest point. Yeah, we're at the highest point. Did we just go down from here? More or less. Because we started to hit 7,000s yeah, and stuff. Alright. trail miles uh, lookout with lookout mountain ridge line or the lookout ridge uh, really incredible views 360 degrees all the way through the Frank Church um, Fibonacci here got the camp a little bit before me uh, the downhill sections two miles going downhill it's really there's not a whole lot of switchbacks it's it's extremely difficult so like 3,000 feet over like four miles? Yeah, 3,000 feet over four miles. And my shoes, I'm pulling pieces of my shoes, they're just shredded. I still need over 200 miles going them, so. Carmen, never made to camp last night, but it's not as big of a deal as it was last time. He's got his GPS, he's got his SOS signal on him, and he told us he might not be making it to camp. Uh, so it's all good. He's a little bit behind us, about half a day. Uh, we kind of stopped early here, but it was a doozy of a day. Uh, if hopefully he makes it to camp. Um, Dan is a whole day behind us. So we're waiting for him to catch up. I think, I think Dan will catch up. He's a pretty fast hiker. That ridge line, it rained up there. If they get it on a good day without rain, we'll run that thing. Oh man, my feet are gnarly. Oh, what's, what's up with that like open wound on the this? left of your right? Yeah. This is why I'm always cursing. That sounds terrible. It's uh, 
it feels bad. So, let me show the people at home what I'm dealing with. Come on, man. Keep it safe for work. It, it, was, it was safe for work. Not anymore. If you, uh, if you have small children at home, you might want to turn it off. Uh, so, we got this little guy here. I will go to put some antibiotics. He's not opening up on me. Um, that's from the snow. <sighs> Nothing better than a tasty meal. Let me show you what I got. So first, from home, there's some gravy mix in there, jalapenos, uh, beef jerky. There's carrots, uh, black beans, rice. But then, over here, the mountain provides morel mushrooms. And we are going to feast on morels. So it's a give and take out here. A life's pretty hard sometimes. Uh, I was not able to make it to them today again. Uh, I did go about 15 miles, but I had to make a decision because it was getting dark and the storm was coming in. And the place I'm at, the next three miles are just straight uphill ridge line. So I'm about, I'm at, I'm at over 7,000 feet. But I'd be going up to over 8,000. I got a storm coming. It's getting dark. It's cold. Um, I decided to make camp. Beautiful. It's a beautiful morning. I mean, look at this. I'm just in pain. My ankle's in pain, and that's what's slowing me down. And it's not an excuse. Well, it's, it is an excuse. It's my excuse. But I'm trying to make the best of it. So I'm thinking if I take a Nero, rest it up a little bit, start crushing miles the next day. Maybe they'll leave me another note at the bridge too, so this way I can figure out where the heck they are. Hopefully they can leave me uh, Fib's in reach address. This way I can just message them. It is now 11.35. We just wasted three hours trying to go four miles down river to the bridge. Basically, we get vertical rock walls on both sides of the river. Uh, river's high, it's spring. We're thinking it is, you could cross it. You could cross it. Uh, but we don't want anyone doing it alone. Uh, we're gonna look back for Carmen. And honestly, you could cross it. The safest option is to backtrack 10 miles up. And then there's an alternate that follows a creek down and there's a bridge there. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Better safe than sorry. We're about 70 miles from the nearest anything. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we've decided to actually ford the river. We found Carmen. Hey, right here. And uh, Dan is actually only about six miles behind us. So it would have taken us the same amount of time to go meet Dan at the pass that would take him to just get down to the river. Uh, but then we don't have to go out of our way and we think with four people we can make this crossing. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough, but I think uh, I think we're gonna make it. Thoughts? We are gonna make it. Still gonna send it. We're gonna make it. Make it. Positive vibes. Also it's a really nice day. So not the worst way to spend a zero. And all these morels. Oh yeah. We're having morels for lunch. Oh Woo. man. The mountain gives and she takes. So the creek crossing yesterday that we decided to do, um, we ended up making a conga line. And so all four of us were kind of grabbed onto each other's backpacks. I was in the front. Well, we all ended up swimming the river a little bit. Uh, Everyone got kind of banged up, uh, bruised knees, ankles, that kind of thing. But uh, we're all okay, we're all still hiking. And so it's kind of an intense day. We didn't really hike too much last night. But today we're trying to get over 20, get up into Chamberlain Basin to see how close we get. This is called a warm spring. It uh, smells like sulfur, and it's about room temperature. It's exactly what it sounds like. I 
But tonight I'm supposed to meet up with Joel and everybody else from Menachi and Dan down at the uh, Chamberlain Basin Airfield. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to do it. Wasted too much time today. My pace is too slow. Did not wake up early enough. But I'm thinking today's Saturday. I got to get up to Campbell's Ferry by Monday, Monday morning. About 50 miles from here. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the airfield, not tonight, tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, and then I'm going to try and bribe a pilot to fly me to Campbell's Ferry. So check this out. These are all morel mushrooms out there. Hold on, hold on. This is insane. I've never seen so many morels. Um, the rainstorm last night turned into a snowstorm. And now I'm buried in snow. I mean, it's only about six inches. But I just checked the weather with my Garmin, and uh, it's going to snow all day today and tomorrow. I have to move. So, there's no easy way out of this one. I just got to, the trail's going to be obscured by snow. I'm low on battery. So, I'm trying to charge up now while I still have my tent up, but it's getting late. I got to move. I got to go up in elevation before I go down. Oh man, this is uh, this is real. So I'm gonna pack all this stuff up soon, get moving, try and get to a lower elevation by nightfall. Uh, this I'm gonna be seriously delayed. Oh, we're hiking here. How's the trail going? Spirits are high. Spirits are high. thing about hiking the ICT is that all of a sudden you're bushwhacking a meadow in the middle of a snowstorm in the middle of June. That's just the way this trail goes. What trail? There's no trail. It's the ICT. Just go north. You'll find it. You'll figure it out. Oh. Oh. Got it. We've gone 12 and a half miles so far, it's 130, and we are going to hike another 18 because we're up high, we're over 6,000 feet. Another snowstorm forecast for tonight. And we're gonna get down into the canyon of the Salmon River, uh, around 2,000 feet elevation. It's deeper than the Grand Canyon, and it'll make, it'll make a long day, 30 miles today. Sun's still up. My ankles really hurt. My shoes. Look at my shoes. I need to go 130 miles still on this thing. Ah, oh, there's no outdoor store out here.
leaving Campbell's Ferry. Uh, it's just going to be me. Dan flew home to see his wife. Fibonacci is sick. He is in the cabin right there, asleep. Uh, he's going to pull a zero today. And Carmen's about two days behind. I'm going to make it up to Rattlesnake Creek. The trail's really bad. Everyone's telling me to not take the trail. Take Bargerman's Creek all the way to Magruder Corridor. But what are you going to do? That's why I'm out of here. Hey, so uh, I'm here at uh, Stonebreaker Ranch. It's about a mile north of uh, the Forest Service Station down at the Chamberlain uh, Airfield. And uh, I was told there's a pilot that's coming here in about an hour. And he may be able to give me a ride up to Campbell's Ferry. So um, I'm here kind of hanging out, charging my stuff in the sun, waiting for this guy to get here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he helps me out. Coming out of uh, the main fork of the salmon, 2,500 feet. I'm going over 8,000 feet today, uh, so it's over 6,000 feet elevation gained. It's really a bitch of a climb, and as, as you can see, this is the trail, standing in the middle of a bunch of bushes. I made it. Sheep Hill lookout. Made it. Suck. As I walk through the valley of death, the sky is black as coal. Birds that fly are featherless skeletons, bleach bones of the crow. Every day we wake the same old bullshit spit 
Heck yeah, man, it would've taken me all day. It would've taken me all day. It's a hard day, but are you kidding me? This is what makes it all worth it, just being out here. It's hard to explain, but... Every single one of my senses are being used. I feel more alive doing this ridge line than anything else I've ever done. This is how you experience life to the fullest. You gotta put yourself through anguish. You gotta put yourself through pain stress it's got to be hard an easy life it's not a free life <laughs>